Uh, good morning. It's bright and early, and I'm in Big Bear, and I'm surrounded by long dogs. So, uh, I had this idea, and I thought it was going to be, like, absolutely brilliant. And I'm currently experiencing the reality of it not being so brilliant. I had this idea to come up to Big Bear for a whole week. And not just take the week off, but also work. And my day-to-day -day work these days is streaming, live streaming. So, I, uh, I brought my gaming laptop. I brought a whole bag of... Uh, like remote streaming supplies kind of like put together a kit and then we packed our car full of dogs like full of dogs we have two greyhounds you uh, are you are seeing for the first time over here on this channel is uh, Miss Lonnie she is our foster she's two years old and just the sweetest most wonderful little piggy girl there ever was she makes like piggy noises so we call her piggy dipping Weirdly, them being in the car to, to drive up to Big Bear was the easy part. Like, they were so good in the car. Bunny and, and Piggy, they get along really well. The littles were fine. I even got myself a real dad-style storage container to put on the roof of my uh, Jeep. And uh, we filled it with <laughs> supplies. Like, we were packed. It was nice. And we got up last night. Streaming was just, like, so hard. It was like, I first it was the internet in the Airbnb. Uh, and then it was the power situation. And then it was realizing that I got a little too ambitious trying to stream Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise for the first time in a remote streaming setup. Things weren't working, things were breaking. And so here we are bright and early the next day and I'm just uh, I'm just kind of taking in the view honestly because it's, it's really pretty. I thought it'd be a fun time for a little bit of a vlog because we're up in a beautiful place and I'm surrounded by long dogs. So yeah. And I haven't had caffeine yet. Can you tell? Don't answer that. I got a little fire going. It's snowing right now. It's actually only supposed to start snowing this afternoon, but the weather got a head start. So we probably will just be kind of hunkered down for most of today, which is going to be a challenge because we have a two-year-old greyhound who sometimes you'll find ants in her pants and she won't know where to be and she wants to run around and steal the microphone on top of my camera. We're just kind of like making do with what we have up here. However much I'm able to work, I'll work. If it's not going to be perfect, it's not the end of the day. But hello from the mountains. I hope you're doing well. You look good today. Right, Kermit? He's crying human tears. Alright, this is my stream setup right now. It's, uh, as you can tell, currently going. Got my Asus stuff, my monitor, my laptop, the light. This is the camera I have going. I blurred it out because I'm on BRB. 
There's chat. They have no idea I'm filming them. Get got. But yeah, it's a nice little cozy setup in front of the window. And this is what it looks like. So, you know. All right, time to defrost this puppy. The whole car is like frozen. It's been snowing for like uh, 30 hours or something. It should be stopping soon. But the snowplow came this morning, so the roads are okay to drive on. And uh, Bunny was not a fan. It's actually probably the thing that scares Bunny most to this day is the snowplow. Even though uh, we only experience it maybe once a year, it still scares her the most. It's like uh, the garbage truck, but worse, because she's still scared of the garbage truck and the noises it makes. But uh, when the snowplow comes down the street, because our house is right next to the road, it's just very loud and it always happens at like 4 a.m. So it's like a big, <coughs> scary nighttime monster. But she did good, we hugged her and got her through it and um, now the, the roads are plowed. So thanks, Bunny, for putting up with uh, the big bad wolf. on fire come look That was scary. <laughs> 